YouTube, what is going on? How y'all doing? Y'all might notice something a little bit different in my room, man. If y'all been watching me for a while, give you a little bit of the guess. It's the goddamn lamp in my room, man. I tried to fix for one last time. I got I got frustrated. I literally just took it like this, grabbed that thing, and just threw that in my way. I, uh, I got so mad. I tried to like fix it and tighten it, but it got looser somehow. No matter which way I went with it. And uh, yeah, but anyways, other than that, man, I'm having a good day. Hope y'all having a good and blessed life. Let's get into this, man. We got Adam Calhoun and Mises featuring Tom McDonald. This one's called Mirrors. I don't know the backstory behind this, but I'm pretty sure we'll figure it out as it goes. Make sure that like button, make sure y'all subscribe, and let's get into it. Let's go. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And his name that sat upon him was death, and hell followed with him. You ever get depression? Face goes blank, no expression. Dealing with some demons, they aggressive. Looking at the gun on the dresser, got a question: Will these thoughts stop if I press it? I don't really wanna. Mm. Facts. Okay. Yeah. I got to a point, bro, where I went through so much shit at one, one point in my life, bro. I just didn't care no more. But anything that happened, like, it was just like, it is what it is, bro. I don't know I'm going to get through it. It's just one day out of my life. And you get to a point in your depression, just how you know that you're really strong or not. You know, rest in peace to all the people that, 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 that thought they couldn't do it anymore. And they just decided to, you know, yeah. But this is when you really know that you're really, really strong as a person. When you get to the point in your life to where you want to do that, but you you don't, and you end up saying, "I can I can come back from this. Whatever I'm going through, I can come back from this, bro." And it, it's 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 a very very big it's very powerful feeling once you've actually conquered that shit, got over it, and moved on with your life, bro. It's just you just gotta look at life as like temporary phases. So I put it like this: last year, you probably wouldn't even expect to be in the position you are right now whether it's good or bad you you would never expect that your life to be this different a year a year later you know what i mean so just look at life as phases like this year like august it ain't gonna be like this this year ain't gonna be the same august for me next year you know what i mean and it's all about how you move forward you know it's if you think positive you're gonna bring positive stuff into your life no matter how little or small or big it is you're gonna bring positive stuff into your life if you think negative and you don't do nothing about your life it's going to go downhill even more. Then you're going to be in a, in a deeper shithole next year. It's just all about how you look at life, bro. Realistically. But, but yeah, he's, yeah, he's speaking the facts right now, though. Looking at the gun on the dresser. Got a question. Will these thoughts stop if I press it? I don't really want to off myself. But I often sit and think. Gotta shed a tear like a drop from a faucet sink. Need to talk to a shrink. Walk with a priest. Want to fight everybody. When I walk down the street, want a problem. I ain't never, I, ain't, I had my father a little bit, um, for a little bit, literally, so like, I seen him when I was younger, and my mom told me about this when I was a baby, she, he, look, he looked down at me and said, that ain't my baby, he just walked off on her, I remember that one, she told me that one, that, stick, that sticks in my head very vividly every time I see that motherfucker, um, Second time, when I played sports in high school, and he realized I had potential just a little bit to go somewhere. And then I got kicked off the team because somebody said I stole some out of the locker room when we had the same pair of shoes. So he thought I stole them from him, even though I didn't. And my coach said, we can't just be, can't be having that reputation, even though I know that deep down you didn't do it. It will look bad if we kept you on the team. So my dad worked for the rec, so I used to go there and practice. I thought I used to have basketball practice. And... Excuse me. I used to go there after I had basketball practice. And after he found out I got kicked off the team, he did not let me in there for free anymore, bro, to practice. And he just stopped talking to me. So it is what it is, though, bro. It, I, I turned to the man I am today by myself, bro. No help from no other man, bro. That's just crazy. Your honor, never had a father, made me crazy. Motherfucker came and swinging like Muhammad Ali Frazier, born in 1980. Started rapping way before I ever heard a shade. Mm. I ain't even 
even know a white dude's rap. Thought you had to be black for that. Had a Philly starter jacket with the hat to match. I was rapping way before I heard the aftermath. I've been feeling crazy. Now he's spitting. I'm gonna stop pausing so much, but he's spitting right now. And people gotta stop thinking that black black people can only rap. It's that's it's, it's everybody, bro. And, and black people gotta stop claiming so much shit. Whenever they get mad, that white people will claim so much shit too as well. Stupidest shit ever, bro. But jacket with the hat to match. I was rapping way before I heard the aftermath. Yeah. I've been feeling crazy, but I've been acting like I got it all together. I've been down lately, but maybe someday I'll get my act together. Made it through the bad weather. They was okay, but I had better. I don't like to look in mirrors, cause I don't like looking at my I don't think I've ever, I, I think I've only heard him once, and his I know his beard tough man. His beard is tough. I don't really me personally like I don't like beards. I look good with a beard, but I just don't like beards like me personally. But if I had a beard, bro, I'd grow that motherfucker out like this. That shit looks good. No cap. Facts. Nah, his part was tough. He did good. He did good. Got it all together. I've been, I've been feeling crazy, but I've been acting like I got it all together. I've been down lately, but maybe someday I'll get my act together. Made it through the bad weather. They was okay, but I had better. I don't like to look in mirrors, cause I don't like looking at my face. Unable to get a grip That my guardian angel Probably thinks I'm a piece of shit Got a mountain of problems And I've been standing on a cliff Thinking maybe I should jump And tell everybody I tripped Can't admit it But I'm sick The prescription pills that I get Getting harder to swallow And I don't feel like I'm fixed I'm slipping further and further Into the grip of a pit I've been digging since I was nothing Nah, fat. And a little six year old kid Now I'm Damn When I was a little bit younger I used to take a They, they tried to put me on depression pills Or whatever the fuck And uh I didn't want that shit, bro, because you never, one thing in life you would never want to do is let a substance control how you act, how you feel, and how you talk, because then you get used to it, and it's hard to get off of that, bro. Either way, you should try to conquer that by yourself. Oh, that's, that's what I believe, anyways. I'm slipping further and further into the grip of a pit I've been digging since I was nothing, a little six-year-old kid. Now I'm grown and I'm seeing ghosts of the man I used to be before I fell into this hole full of bones. Facts. I'm stone and it helped me cope with everything beautifully, but I wish I would have known about the lows. I moved in. Fat. Oh, he talking shit, shit. Oh, my God. So, one point in my life, I was selling, um, you know, white stuff, you know. You know, the white powder, you know. <laughs> I'm very blunt about stuff I've done in my past. And, uh, I lost my grandma. And, uh, after that, I ended up doing more of it than selling it. And it was, it just, I just went downhill, bro. I went downhill. And then... I about to pick myself right back up. It got it got it was bad for like a good year or two. I'm pretty sure. I think it was two years. Yeah, but it don't matter if you if you su if you suffer with any type of addiction right now outside of you know life, for was like alcohol, nicotine, whatever. You can get through it, bro. It's just it's gonna be tough at first, but once you get through that process, bro, it's so beautiful, bro. The only thing I'm stuck on right now is this. It's not really addictive. Like I could throw these away right now if I wanted to, but. Yeah, man, it's just it's beautiful. Bones, I've been getting stoned and it helped me cope with everything beautifully, but I wish I would have known about the lows. I moved into the middle of nowhere. If I was you, wouldn't go there because I just want to be by myself. Nothing but some mountains and color. I got my dogs and I don't care, and I did everything by myself. I just
just want to be in nature, keep erasing my entire legacy of everything and being famous. I am not a celebrity, I'm a piece of paper that I scribble my thoughts on when they feel dangerous. Fuck you, I can see it clear. Used to want Hollywood, now I want to disappear. Everywhere I go, people looking at me weird. Every time I see a mirror, I just look at my face. I've been feeling crazy, but I've been acting like a... Has somebody walk in, my bad. Feeling crazy, but I've been acting like I got it all together. I've been down lately, but maybe someday I'll get my act together. Made it through the bad weather. They was okay, but I had better. I don't like to look in mirrors, cause I don't like looking at my No, this was tough. This was tough. Hang on. Mirrors directed by Aaron Wayne. Aaron Wayne Hill, you did your thing. This is really, really good, man. Shout out to him. But yeah, let me know your thoughts this in the comment section. And um, yeah, we go. Peace. Make sure y'all subscribe.